fears over invasion of super pigs in United States and it's not easy to eradicate them. U.S. experts worry that an increasing number of super pigs, which are difficult to exterminate, may overrun the northern states. The super pig is an ecological train wreck, a crossbreed that combines the size and fecundity of domestic swine in Canada with the survival qualities of the Eurasian boar. They are the most invasive animal on the planet, according to Professor Ryan Brook, one of Canada's leading experts, as swine can spread illness and wreak havoc on agriculture and wildlife. Nobody should be surprised when pigs start walking across that border, if they haven't already. The question is, what will be done about it? Professor Brooks said. Though controlling the rapidly expanding population is difficult, northern states like Minnesota, North Dakota, and Montana are making efforts to halt the invasion. Because they multiply so fast and are intelligent and hairy, the pigs have an advantage over other animals in surviving Canadian winters. They may increase even if officials were to remove 65% of the population annually since a single sow can give birth to six piglets in a litter and rear two litters in a year. And hunting could make the problem worse, according to Professor Brook with the success rate for hunters only about 2 until 3 percent. Additionally, hunting has been outlawed in several jurisdictions because it makes pigs more nocturnal and skittish, making them more difficult to locate. Alternatively, net guns launched from helicopters or ground traps such as the boar buster are being considered. While scientists have explored poisons like sodium nitrite, they run the risk of endangering other species. Several states have also implemented crowdsourced squeal-on-pigs tracking schemes. The only path forward is you have to be really aggressive and you have to use all the tools in the toolbox, Professor Brooks said. In the U.S. alone, Pigs cause $2.5 billion in agricultural damage annually, primarily in the southern states. Additionally, they have sometimes been known to attack people. In 2019, a Texas lady was murdered by one of them. The creatures have spent millennia roaming North America, despite not being native to the continent. Before the market crashed in 2001 and some irate farmers decided to just release the animals, Canada's issues began in the 1980s when farmers were urged to grow wild boar.